Yeah, um, it's me, Trash Salsa, and I went to Goodwill. Yeah, I'm not sure how to explain myself here. Well, um, so I went to Goodwill and got a stampede in a long shot. Um, this is the original, not the icon one. Hopefully the little diagrams prove that. Um, and it says on a strike right there. Yeah. We're gonna take a look at these. Um, this one's jammed. I just want to see what kind of wonderful wonders are inside. And what the heck is this? What, why? So, I guess we'll take a look at that. And yeah, I did briefly clean these. They're not clean clean. I just quickly wiped them down for the video. Um, they're in the tub because... I don't want to get anything else dirty. I am not an idiot. I'm not going to run the water. I mean, come on. Just have them in here because... I don't want to, I mean, they're, this was like, darkened with dirt. You know, I can't imagine how many six and seven year olds pick this thing up and wipe their boogers all over it, you know. Very scratched and ruined. I, I can't imagine how many people dropped this on the floor. I just love how it's clean in this one spot. Uh, these two magazines are, I think, Dart Zone or something else. They're, I don't know. They have darts on darts in them right now, the pro darts, whatever it's called, but they're not Nerf branded, but they still are compatible. Um, and I don't have the front gun, which I don't care about the front gun, the front gun's crap. Um, I looked for attachments while I was there and they didn't have anything. So I guess we'll see what this is. I never owned a Stampede or a long shot before. However, I do have a bunch of other pre-elite blasters, so I guess we'll see what's inside. So, just a quick rundown of the Stampede real quick. It's uh, spring-powered, but it's battery-powered. Now, that doesn't make any sense, but this is before flywheels came out. And, yeah, you could see how just dirty this thing was. So, um, it's got like eight rails. I don't even know how many rails it has. It's got like one, two, three, four, five. Not on the other side, one here. Like, oh my god. Um, again, I never owned one before, so I don't know how to like get this to work. I could have sworn there was like an on switch somewhere, kind of like the barricade, but I guess there isn't. Because I don't think it's on switch. That's that's for like, what is that burst? Maybe that's the on switch. There's no batteries in here, by the way. It's really light. When one has batteries, it's super heavy. Like, tight and heavy. Just for replication, this is like my arm, kind of, and it's just kind of big. Again, this is jammed in here. I can't get this out. It looks like some idiot decided we're going to throw it in there nice and stiff and uh, then come out, so... See, that's not nerf branded. It's got a dart in there all screwed up. I think the trigger arm is stuck out. Kind of like my Shadow Hawk likes to do that. Um, this is like the Rapid Strike before that. They basically remade this and made the Rapid Strike with flywheels. So this is just a spring-powered Rapid Strike with 6D batteries. I think that's what it takes. Hopefully not be, Hopefully it's not 8. The long shot, I have got it to prime and fire. Um... It seems to just, the darts just kind of cough out the barrel. It has the integrated I, uh, bipod. This is the weird blue one. Um, and this has the stock button. I think that's a, some, I don't know, maybe not. These are all original. None of these were Icon or nothing. This is all original, as you can see. As you can see. We'll say in strike. Hopefully that clears it up. Using my thumb to find. There's no click. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna see what I can do, and I'll just record again if I find anything that's weird. Well, I strangled it for like an hour. Um, gave myself three different types of arthritis. And I finally got it apart, and it's the first time I've ever seeing what it looks like inside of the stampede. 
see if I can get that mag out. It's pretty sad that I had to take this apart just to get the magazine out. Again, I don't know how to take the mag out. I don't know if you need the batteries in for that, or again, I never owned one. I guess it's kind of embarrassing. The battery tray, I was pretty impressed with it. There's no batteries. It was completely empty. But I, I like how there's no corrosion. I'm very pleased with the condition of that. Usually these blasters will have corrosion everywhere. Uh, hundreds of screws. Screws here. There are screws there that go on the rails. Usually stuff like this is a two-part thing where you don't have to touch this, but I had to touch it. And there is still tons of screws already in the shells embedded. So three different types of groups and stuff of screws. Now, maybe you're a Nerf modder and you know the inside and out of the Stampede. And look at that motor. Wow. It's a beefy motor for a little. Wow. It's kind of nice. I am, a I am a fan collector, so... Motors are cool to me. What does that even say in there? My friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's 2010. Well, judging by the date code of the motor, this is probably from 2010, so it's pretty old. Some yellowing on the uh, plastic here. Little springs go to that. I was hoping there would be nothing on this shell so I could hand wash it. But of course, there's a switch. So I might disconnect that just so I can hand wash this. The previous owner did write their name on there. It said Gimlina. Gimlina. I don't know what that is. Oh, but Gimlina, if you're watching this. What did you do to this? I mean, wow. I mean, yeah, yeah, I've seen blasters in pretty bad condition. I've seen some dirty ones. I've seen, but how, how do you even accomplish this? It looks like that's the... I don't want to break anything, to be honest with you. So it looks like this is some mechanical thing keeping this on here, or am I wrong? Am I wrong? Because I think I'm wrong. I'm, I'm usually wrong. So there's a, something here... Whereas, that doesn't even, no, well, no wonder why this isn't coming out. And that's jammed in. What is this, a two-part mechanism? I just move that and then move the other one. I have to peel the mag out of here like a problem. Because it is a problem. I don't know where the trigger arm is. Hopefully it's not jammed in there. These teeth look very worn down. Someone definitely had their fun with this blaster. Got it out. What happened to the dart? Is that the blaster or did someone just take a needle and poke holes in it? It's a weird Fortnite dart. There was a Fortnite blaster. My It was an ARL at Goodwill. I didn't pick it up because it was beat to crap, probably like this one. It was missing like the battery tray and all this crap, and I already have an ARL, so I'm like, ain't touching that, bruh. So someone probably put one of their very elite Fortnite darts in their uh, fake Nerf mag and then jammed it in an old Stampede, which is worth a, quite a few bucks nowadays. Don't know why someone would ever decide to do that. I'd like to see the idiot that thought that was a good idea. Look, Mommy, I jammed the blaster. All right, son, now we're going to put it in Goodwill. This is a faux barrel right here. Does this come out? Oh, it does. I'm going to try to take this off so I can hand wash this. And then I'll put this back on. And then I'll manually clean the other side. And then, I don't know. Then I'll maybe tomorrow or whenever I'll buy D batteries and we'll test it. Um, so I'm going to do that, and when we're done, we'll take a look at the long shot, and I got some darts in the other room we can test. I want to see if this works, so, I don't know. Long shot has also been cleaned. <clears throat> now, this one, I believe, does work. I think I tested it once. Um, I like how these had the carrying handles. That was really nice when you're walking around Goodwill, and, you know... Fun fact, some other kid actually picked up this blaster. He was, like, looking at it, and he's like, yeah, and this, uh, oh, it's jammed. And he just, like, threw it back on the shelf. I'm like, thanks, walked back over, grabbed it. So I saw him with the same people. I'm like, oh, I better put that down, man, because I, I want that. He was looking at it. He's like, oh, it's jammed. And he just, like, put it on the shelf. 
Just kind of just like shoved it away. I'm like, all right, cool. I walked back over there, grabbed it. Then he picked up the long shot. I didn't even see the long shot. He picked it up and said, oh, it's crap. I put it back down. I picked it up. I'm like, oh, this is gold. And for 14 bucks, I got both of them. So ain't going to complain. So. Yeah. I don't know if these screw on or not. This is very loose. I did try to screw it on, but nothing happened. So I don't know if they just clip on or whatever. And that does extend. So that works somewhat. So these are old black. I believe the long chat's a lot. Well, so much for the bipod. It's not gonna stand up. I am very scared to put this mag in here. But I think if I do, I can probably get it out because this has a priming handle and I do already know how to use a long shot because it's already, I mean, it's just common sense. This, I have no idea. I mean, that looks like burst fire and then, like, why don't you know, like, it just says dart don't work. I'm assuming this is for the rev, but I'm not sure. Alright, I got some zombie strike darts that I always leave here in case I get stuff like this. Like I said, I, I unfortunately cannot test Stampede. I don't have 6D batteries, but I can test a long shot. No batteries required. Now, if I, I first, I'm not going to use the mag. I, I'd hate to jam it on my first try. So what I'm going to do is I have to use my knees to hold the phone here. So I'll do that and flip this over here upside down. <laughs> I didn't know this. This is the jam door. I'm like, where's the jam door? It's right here. They should have colored it yellow or orange or something. So now I, I can see what it looks like there. From this angle, it looks okay on the inside. What I'm going to do is just firmly grasp it. I'm just going to place the dart down in there. And... Fix the camera angle here. Again, I'm using my knees to hold it. Alright. Well, I'm over here. See if there's anything. That was loud. It was like, It was a haunting noise. Alright, well, for now, see you guys in the next one.